Hello, this video goes over assignment 4.2, number five. It's about the statement of owner's equity. You have to fill it out right here. The first thing is the label. It's the date that's missing. And what's the option for the dates? Is it December 31st or for the year ended December 31st? It will be for the year ended December 31st because it needs the period of time. That's what this statement of owner's equity is to report the owner's equity for that period. It has a beginning balance and then the change in owner's equity to get you the end in balance. And that change is made up of three components. We call it additional investment we call capital and then net income or net loss then join right so the label here is for the year ended December 31st next line one you would want to show the beginning balance of capital the question is where do you get that from well the problem gives it to you right here January 31st first of all this is a T account for capital and it shows all the transactions of this account capital. You have a debit of 78,000 at the end of the year. At the beginning of the year, there was a credit of capital. And this beginning of the year is the end and balance of the previous year and it gets carried over. Then December 31st, the end of the year, another credit balance. You have the drawn account debits and credits so this beginning balance here january 31st shown here one three three four and show us the beginning balance get the label right here check my work bang looks good next additional investment which is capital right so additional investment would be a credit balance because the transaction for additional investment is a debit for the increase of cash debit to cash credit to capital so would this balance be the additional amount of investment now it's at the end of the year and what we have are closing entries in chapter four. Remember, what do we do? We close out revenue into capital and expenses into capital. We do it in one entry. So both revenue balance and expenses, all of the expense account balances, the net of all of them goes into capital at the end of the year and I suspect that this is that net income so let's give it a try well but before that let's take a look at, at this 78,000 this is a balance in the drawn account no actually right here um, 19,500 in March June September so each three months the business owner withdrew money right a debit to join and a credit to cash for 19,500 so that transaction happened four times and we see here this full balance if you add these four it probably equals 78,000 and at the end of the period we have to do close and entry, right? The only time that we credit the drawn account is when we do close and entry. How do we close out the drawn account? Well, a normal balance for drawn is, if you sum all this up, it's a debit. And it's true that debit is the normal balance for drawn account. Now you want to close it out clear out this balance and transfer the capital so there was a closing entry to credit 78,000 which is the sum of these amount credit that 
and debit capital. So that's why there is this debit in the capital account, and this is from the joint transaction where we, or I should say, from the closing entry transaction to clear out the drawn balance. So the net of this whole set of transactions in drawn account nets to zero because it's being cleared out, transferred into capital, the 78,000. So then we know the 78,000 is withdraw. And again, as I said before, I suspect that this is net income and not additional investment additional investment likely would be sometime during the year or you know it's not right at the last day of the year this is probably the closing entry so put in net income for 347,000 check my work yes and now you have withdrawals and I think you have to use a negative amount a negative sign I should say and that's 78,000 check my work yes so then the change in this case an increase in owners equity for the period goes here how much is 347 minus 78 got to pull out my phone and use the calculator here that's 26900 zero, zero. Zero. And the very last line is the uh, ending balance of owner's equity. And uh, that's right here. So the balance is taking the beginning balance amount of 1,334,000 minus 2, no, it's adding 269 for the increase. So the balance is... 1,603,000 and three zeros. Check my work, yes. And that's how you do it. What's important here is to understand the closing entries. And those closing entries will then be posted to the ledger, or in this case, the T accounts, which represents the ledger. Same concept, right? So if you do the closing entries and you post it to the T account, these are the numbers that you see. This represents the first closing entry where you move revenue and expenses to capital. This is when you move drawn balance into capital. And this is the beginning balance of capital. So this problem tests your understanding of the two closing entries, what it's made up of, and if you know how it's done, the accounts and the credit and debits, then you would know its impact to these T accounts. Those journal entries would be journalized, or I should say posted to these T accounts here, and that's what we see with these numbers. This is net income, and this is from the drawn account that's transferred to capital as part of the second closing entry. This is part of the first closing entry. Again, revenue and expenses gets posted to the capital account here. We move everything we call the temporary account to the capital account, and also drawn to the capital account, okay? So this problem is not so difficult after all, right?